putting the offense into positions that we want them to be into. And that all starts with how you front the ball carrier and, and, and basically how you move through there. Um, so we do a ton of footwork drills. So I'll just kind of like, I'll show you the footwork drill, but I'll start off by simulating what we're trying to do. Now, what we're finding is a lot of these kids and a lot of you guys have basketball backgrounds. And I think in basketball, when you, when you play defense, you, you, just, you, stay there. you tend to you know, play like this. And in lacrosse, it's not going to work. You know, we don't shuffle our feet. We don't square up. We always want to, the thing, the term that I use with goalies, the term that I use with our defenser is take something away. Okay, so if you're on, if you're on the left side, you want to take middle away. If you're on the right side, middle away. If you're in the middle, you want to take sticks, stick side away. Okay, so we're, we're working to put them in positions that are advantageous to us defensively. We want to create angles for our goalies. Uh, we want to we want to be, and this is one of the things that we've always struggled with the ninth graders. We're very aggressive on the ball. Okay, one of the things, and, and this will help you guys at, at the younger levels too. Um, you know, until you get to college, it, you know, these these guys are a little bit um, antsy with the ball at times. So you want to make them uncomfortable with the ball. Force a pass. A lot of times, if you, all you have to do is force a pass, they'll throw it away or throw it into the ground or. Get them to miss it. That happens even at our level. Um, so we play hard on the ball all the time. So we'll, we get a lot of our ninth graders um, when they come up. They like to play defense like this. You know, like three yards away from their guy, squared up. Um, you know, that's basically if you're if you're squared up to him, you're you're allowing him to decide where he wants to go. Uh, that's first and foremost. Uh, secondly, you're not in a, in a good position to move. He's he's going to be running. Um, my feet are, are, my shoulders are square to him, my feet are facing upfield. If I'm not in a, in a position to run. I think in basketball they tend to do shuffling. Um, so what we tend, what we try to do is we get aggressive to the ball, the ball carrier. He has a stick in his right hand, okay? A lot of guys, especially at the younger levels, they'll carry the stick in their dominant hand. So the first thing we want them to do is switch hands. So we set up basically here, okay? And he's not going to be able to go to his right. If he goes to his right, I'm just going to keep going backwards until he switches. All right. Once he switches, then we're on. Okay. Then we're on the on the bottom hand. All right. The why why we set up in the in the staggered step is because he's going to be running. Okay. So if we we're in a position here that we're going to be able to run with him. Our shoulders are upfield. Okay. Our hips are turned. Okay. And now we're running. 